Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be my weekly Wix and Wax video, which I was so excited to start this series and make it a weekly thing, and it did not turn out that way. But that's okay. I have so many candles and so many wax melts to talk about today. These are things that I finished up, and I think it's really important to film videos like this after a review because or a haul because the candle might have been great when you first got it but I want to know how it performed to the very end and same with wax melts how did it perform how long did it last and that's why I think these videos are super fun to watch I like watching them from all different people and I really like filming them myself to share with you guys so I have lots of candles and lots of wax so without further ado, let's get into it. As always, let's start with the candles. The first candle I have, listen, I don't clean my candle jars before I show you guys so you can see the true candle. Look at how black and sooty this is. This is Tonka Bean and Pumpkin from Yankee Candle. This was part of their Elevations collection, which were some of my favorite candle lines that Yankee Candle did. They are two wicks. They are really big at the top, but then they taper down, which I believe causes a lot of this sooting. I mean, look, you literally cannot see me through that big hunk of soot. And yeah, you're not supposed to burn the candle all the way down here, but because there's such a thick bevel of glass there, and I have it burning on the lid, which is how it's designed to be. There's so much space in between there and my table that I didn't mind, but I hated how sooty this got, but I love the fragrance, you guys. Tonka Bean and Pumpkin from Yankee Candle was one of my favorite pure, rich, creamy, creamy pumpkin fragrances. It threw like a beast. It was so strong. This has been discontinued. <clears throat> I was going to burn it last year, but I saved it. I think I got this one at an outlet, to be honest, but I saved it, and this is my last one. It is finished. Now it's going in the recycling bin, but I love this. This is such a great fragrance. Speaking of Yankee Candle, not as great. This is from that studio collection that they created of, like, these hourglass candles, and this is in Spiced Pumpkin. It did burn well, but I did put an Illumilid on it. Um, One of the flat top Illumilids from Yankee actually fit really nicely on here, and I did put it in there and burn it in a hurricane to get it to burn properly, which I know you shouldn't do, but or shouldn't have to do, I should say. I mean, you can do it, but you shouldn't have to. And there's absolutely no scent to this. There, I never smelled it the entire time. I got this at Target on clearance for like $3 last year. I just really liked the jar. I thought it was fun. And Yankee's really trying to promote these. And it's just such an odd shape that I feel like isn't in style anymore. But they launched it last year. So I don't know. Anyway, I still have another one of these that I'm working on burning and finishing up. So you'll probably see another one in the next empties video. But I'm just using these as ambiance candles because they do not throw. I finished a... Foin Coupe from Diptyque, which is freshly mown hay. I love this scent. It did get a little off-center because I did just let it burn out, which you should not do. But again, I like to get every drop out of the candles. And I love this scent. It's so fresh. And it truly does have that herbal, warm, hay-like fragrance. Like It's hard to describe, but it truly smells like hay, which for a fall fragrance is really interesting. I had this on a table with mums and like some fake hay. It was really pretty and it just smells great. I love the Diptyque fragrances. They're just, they're very expensive. This jar is $72, but I love the fragrance and we'll continue to purchase Diptyque here and there. All right, Let's do Kringle and then Bath and Body Works. I finished two Kringle candles. I finished Morning Cartoons, which is super fun. Now, again, there is black soot here, and the reason why is the last burn. I literally let this go for 12 hours on the last burn and then let it go out. They don't always do this if you only burn them for four hours at a time which is the intended burn. I just let them burn and burn and burn until there's nothing left. But I love this scent. This reminds me of a mellow pumpkin pecan waffles. Now, I did get a pumpkin waffles in this style jar. 
just in an order with a couple backup reserves. I got another pumpkin buns and a great pumpkin. And then there was like that free autumn road candle with $100. And then I got the two pumpkin waffles because I really wanted to try it. And it does smell just like pumpkin pecan waffles. To me, this smells like a really mellowed version of it. But really love it. Performed amazing as always. And now, you guys, I have so many Kringle Halloween candles. That's probably the only empty candles you're going to see at the end of the month of October. Because I truly have so many that I need to burn through. And starting before I even dive into the pure white wax Halloween jars, whoops, Halloween jars. I don't know if you can see this. You really can't. These are that year that they did the gray candles, the 100% soy gray wax. So I still have like six or seven of the gray wax ones from a couple years ago. That's what I'm working on burning through first this year. I literally have like three or four going at a time, so that way I can work through them. But this is Fright Night. I love this. For one, I love the logo, the logo, the label. You have this really eerie purple background with the moon and the bats in there. And the fragrance is really unique. I'm actually going to look it up because I'm not sure what the notes are. Fiendishly delightful citrus notes swirl intriguingly with rare wood accords to create a fragrance that will drive you batty with pleasure. I can totally see the citrus and wood. It's not a complex fragrance by any means. It is citrusy, and you do get that wood note, but it just filled the room really pleasant. I really enjoyed it. It was a great performer. Again, it burned all the way down. Loved the jar. I actually have, if you remember, the pumpkin candle holder from Bath & Body Works last year or two years ago, and he had spider legs. This fits perfectly in there and actually looks really cool because it just looks like it's made for the candles. So I will be, once one's done, add another one to it and continue to burn them. And what's so nice about the Kringle candles, especially the two wick soy, you could burn these all day. So like if I'm home all day, I can literally have it burn from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And it might get a little sooty, for burning for 12 hours, but the wicks don't travel. It doesn't turn burnt or murky, and it just performs so well. So love the Kringles, as always. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, and the reason why I am is because I love the fragrances so much. My code will be down below. Um, let's talk about some disappointments. I finished two White Barn Leaves candles. I have, which I actually can show you this time, I was talking about these, like, black metal lampshades from Bath & Body Works. I got these this spring. I actually have two of them. I'm currently burning French baguettes, but um, there's a hole there. You just drop the candle in and it looks like a lampshade. It's actually really pretty when the candles are burning, but I have two on my dining room table and I burned both of these at the same time. Completely done completely unscented. I was burning two leaves candles and I could not smell them at all, at all. And that's crazy because leaves is such a strong fragrance. The notes of golden nectar, red apple, and clove spice. People know leaves, people love leaves. I love leaves, but it just didn't perform. And again, the same issue I'm having with Bath & Body Works candles that I've continued to have is the first burn is fine. I trim the wicks. The second burn is fine. Then that's it. It's done. Third, fourth, didn't matter. The puniest wicks possible. I mean, like I said, I had both of these in my in my dining room lit. It's like 1030 at night. There's no light at all outside. Pitch black. And you can barely see these lit. That's how small and minuscule the flames were. It was, it was pretty terrible. So makes me really sad. I don't know what's going on with Bath & Body Works candles lately, but... Not a fan of the performance, so most of them will just go right into the crock or the lamp, which, speaking of, well, let's continue with leaves first. I have the scent control plugs, and I love them. So, I was burning from the signature line, the leaves candle in my bathroom. One time, five, six hours, it barely pulled, and I was like, no, I'm done. Turned it off, put it on a candle crock in my bathroom, like on my toilet seat, I have a candle crock. It's a traveling candle crock. It doesn't stay there, but I dropped this into the candle crock, turned it on, 
And then I have a wallflower plug in my bathroom, and I had leaves in there, and I just let the wall, I let this go in the candle crock for the entirety of the leaves can, the leaves wallflower. So about a month, just continuous in the bathroom, continuous, 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 and there's no scent left in here, and I will say the entire time I could smell it. So I don't know if it was this completely liquefied, putting off scent, or the wallflower plug. Either way, it did perform for me, which made me happy. All right, I finished a single wick burning in the bathroom in dark amber and oud. I burned this for a little bit, put it away for a little bit, and then just finished it. I like the scent, but I'm over it now. It's it's kind of clean which is weird because dark amber and oud, you wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, that sounds clean. But it does give you like a clean vibe. I don't know. I enjoy it. It was pleasant. It was warm and comforting and fresh at the same time. I'm happy to have finished it. It didn't have any problems though. And then white pumpkin. This is a white pumpkin from last year. It had those really flat wicks on it. And then single wick. I actually did this in my office. I burned the candle in my office, and then again, it got puny wick syndrome. So I continued to burn it just with the puny wicks. Literally, I was off this weekend, and I decorated my house for Halloween. So from here, about a little less than half, I just let it burn until it completely fizzled out. And then I popped this in a candle lamp. And because the candle lamp was so powerful, it melted from the top to bottom. There's no scent left in here. And I just let it go, 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 go until this candle finished. And my, I will say my entire office did smell like white pumpkin the entire time. White pumpkin is a scent from Bath & Body Works. The notes are gingered white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. It's a scent... I enjoy it. It's in wallflowers, room spray, candles, hand soap. We do, they do make it in a lot of things. But it's not what I ever gravitate towards. Like, I had this from last year, and I never aimed for it. I never went for it. So I just feel like it's missing something to make it craveable for me. So I won't purchase White Pumpkin anymore. It was my only one, and I'm glad to have finished it up. So that was all of the candles. Now let's move on. Oh, it's not all of the candles. I just saw one in here. Oh, yes, this is a good one, too. I finished Nargile, which is hookah from Diptyque. Now, it looks like this because I actually was burning this one outside. It was so strong. So I had the window crack. I shouldn't say outside. I had the window open in my kitchen, and it's like a huge window. And I burned this right by the window because it was so strong. It truly smells like a cherry tobacco and smoke. It's a beautiful scent. But boy, was this overpowering and strong in my room. So I opened it up by the window, and I just let it go and go and go, and it continued, and it smelled great, but I think I got, like, a little outside um, things, not bugs, but, like, just, like, outdoor little pieces in there, that's why, but I will take the diptyque jars, and I will pour boiling hot water in them and clean them out and reuse them, because I love reusing diptyque jars, they're beautiful. I'm actually going to start burning this one I got last year right soon because it's pumpkin. They actually came out with a pumpkin fragrance, and it's beautiful. It smells like a true pumpkin. It's not like a pumpkin spice. So really unique and different. But anyway, I'm going to sort through these clamshells so I know what I'm doing, and then we will get started. All right, let's do non-sensi first and then finish with the sensi. The first thing I finished was from Better Homes and Gardens, White Mahogany and Pumpkin. Now, this is shaped like a pumpkin clam, super cute. White Mahogany, Cedar, Bergamot, Clove, Incense, and Pumpkin Scent Notes. This was from Walmart. Um, I had a friend who gifted me a ton of Better Homes and Gardens clams, and I'm just trying to work through them. This is super interesting. It totally smells like mahogany teakwood when you first smell it, but then you do get this creamy, creamy pumpkin and cedar wood. It's really interesting. I really like it. I actually did this in my bedroom and I did it in my bathroom and the cubes are a lot larger than a normal Better Homes and Gardens clam. So 
like this whole clam with six cubes is 3.6 ounces. So they're almost like half, half an ounce each. And let me tell you, this performed. When I do non-sensi wax, I use the Julianne Home 25 watt. Are they 25 watt? I'm not exactly sure what wattage they are. Hot plates that have the adjustable, and I always do them on high. Non-sensi wax does perform really well in those, but it doesn't last long, which is okay. I'd rather get as much scent as I can out of it for a short amount of time, but yeah, so this performed really well. It lasted days and days and days and days in my bathroom. So after the leaves situation, I did this and my bathroom didn't know it hit it. I did a Zape Clam in Cashmere and Leaves. And this is fl Fluffy Cashmere Sweaters, Crisp Fall Air, and Dry Autumn Leaves. I honestly don't even remember this. I did this in my office, maybe. I do a lot of stuff I'm just trying to finish up in my office, as you can tell. And I honestly don't remember that. I did from Fantasy Wax to... Pumpkin and pecan waffle scent shots. I think I was burning pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works and was like, let me amp this up because I can't really smell it. So I did this, cut it in half, and did it in four like different warmers to amp up the pumpkin pecan waffles. And I did from Candles by Victoria, Nutty Candy Apple. I like this. This is just a very strong candy apple fragrance. I don't really get much nut note out of it, but... I enjoyed it, and Candles by Victoria um, scent shots, they never fail me. I finished some oils. Let's talk about that for a second. I have a Scentsy diffuser. I have both. I have the premium diffuser, and I have the deluxe diffuser. I don't love the premium diffuser, even though it's beautiful and you can change the shades. It just feels like you add water, and, like, halfway through the day, it's already out. Like, they... It just doesn't last. Whereas the deluxe diffuser... It's not as be beautiful to look at. I mean, it's so nice to look at, but the the it, the tank it fills and it lasts like almost three full days. So I was like, I need to find a spot right now to put it and continually continually use it. I don't know where. So I was like, you know what? In my kitchen because I have smart plugs everywhere. Every warmer that I have is plugged into a smart plug so I can say you know who to turn on the apartment and it turns everything on or certain rooms, etc. But behind my stove is a plug and it's a two-prong outlet. It's the only two-prong outlet in my whole place and it's the stove so they don't fit. So I have a warmer there and I would turn the warmer on and off manually and I'm like it doesn't work as well because like I'm using up wax faster there because it's not turning on at the same time and off. Anyway, first world problem, right? The diffuser you turn on and off from the front. And I don't want to diffuse at the same time I'm warming most of the time. So I put the deluxe diffuser on my stove and it's great. And I'm getting through oils and I'm so proud of myself. I've had these oils, guys, I can't even tell you, for years. And I made a pack. I pulled three out and I said, I'm only rotating through these three until they're completely done. And then I'll move on to another one. And I actually just pulled out the Harvest Collection from like two years ago in oils. It's like the graham cracker, the matcha latte, and then there's one pumpkin one maybe. I can't remember, but I'm going to start using those because I just put the last of this one oil in there. Oils are nice. Let me tell you, they are nice, and I think they are slept on with Sensi and Sensi customers because diffusers are expensive. But let me tell you, once you make the initial investment in a diffuser or you host a party and you get it for free, you could always do that, these oils last forever. I feel like they refill themselves overnight. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I thought this oil was almost done, and it's not. Like, I feel like they never ever go away. And that's not a bad thing necessarily, but I do want to try some new ones. And the second you put the oil drops in there and turn it on, you get scent. And my kitchen is not a big place at all. It's not a big space. So it just fits perfectly in the kitchen. I just get scent every time I walk in there and it's really enjoyable. Now, I will say the oil that I'm using now that I've been using for the last couple weeks, I don't like it. It is cardamom and vanilla, and this is just off to me. I'm not sure if this is still available. 
I don't know. I just don't care for it. It has a very odd scent when diffusing, so I would not repurchase this even if it is available. Like I said, I'm not really as versed in the Scentsy oils as I should be, but this has inspired me that I'm working on using up my oils to purchase some new ones for sure, but I'm not the biggest fan of the cardamom and vanilla. The other two, I love. So this guy right here is a red currant raspberry. This was great. This is bright. This is fruity. This is fun. And to me, spoiler alert, the other one is blackberry basil. These are great fall oils. These are great fall fruits because sometimes I think oils are great with the fruity scents because they're lighter, a little bit more, I don't want to say fresh, but a little more fresh. And you can truly have a great experience using these oils and not feeling guilty because you use like 10 drops and you get like 500,000 drops in an oil. But anyway, the raspberry is so nice. It's pleasant. It's fruity. It's tart, but it's still warm because it's like a fall fruit. And then we have blackberry basil, which I also really, really liked. This was this was really great. You do get the warmth in the blackberry, the herbal notes from the basil. It was really pleasant. Really like those. I would repurchase both of these if I could. Again, I don't know what's available, but I am going to look. I have the three-pack of harvest oils, and I have a three-pack of Christmas oils, both from that same year. I want to say it was 2021. 2020 or 2021. Yeah, I'm like, no. I'm going to use these, use all my oils up before I purchase more, but really, really impressed with the oils. All right, now let's move on to the wax. The first thing I finished were, I know this is excessive, three clams of frosted cinnamon roll, but I did have an in-home party last week, and this was the scent of choice that my hostess decided she wanted to have melting throughout the whole house. And it's so good, you guys. This is so cream cheese forward, and I love it. If you like bakery, if you like foodie fragrances, definitely give Frosted Cinnamon Roll a try. It's cinnamon, sugar, a little bit of pastry, and a lot of cream cheese frosting. And it threw so well in her home. It was beautiful. So we did that in her house. I did oh, two from a Bring Back My Bar in Coconut Pumpkin Pie. I'm not sure if this is in my club or not. This is one that I've been teetering with. It's so different. I've never smelled a scent like this, and I'm not the biggest fan of coconut fragrances. However, blended with this, it just makes the pumpkin pie extra creamy and almost like it's a pumpkin pie latte without the coffee. It's just like a coconut cream mixed with a pumpkin. It's really nice and really strong, and I think I'm liking it more now that, bring back my, that this Bring Back My Bar is over and these have sat than I did before. I did Scary Good. I did two of these, and this is like a butterscotch-rich sweet pumpkin. I enjoy it. It's not my favorite pumpkin, though. I definitely have favorites. My favorite pumpkin is controversial, but it's Pumpkin Marshmallow. I don't have many bars left, but I love pumpkin marshmallow. If that ever comes back and I bring back my bar, it is definitely going in my club because I just love it so much. But this is nice. If you like that sweet, spicy pumpkin, the closest I can recommend to this, like, every day, Spiced Pumpkin from Yankee. I feel like it gives Spiced Pumpkin vibes from Yankee Candle. A little bit. It almost has like that slight warm orange note at the end. And this is still available, or this is available this year. This is a scent of the month stickered one. But yeah, it's super cute. Next, I finished My Wish. I did this one in my office, and this I always love. It's uh, breakfast time for the cats. This is like fig, marshmallow, and violet. And I love fig fragrances. And the marshmallow really comes out in this. I always say, if you want to know what marshmallow truly smells like in wax, my wish, because it truly smells like a jet puff marshmallow mixed with a sweet fig. I love it. I always love it. It's comforting. It's delish. I did autumn stroll in my bedroom. Let me tell you, wax does so well in my bedroom and it lasts for days and days and days. Like I rarely have to change the warmers when I do this in my bedroom. Speaking of, Alexa, Turn on the bedroom. Okay. 
I have actually, um, what do I have going in the bedroom right now? Oh, I don't want to tell you because it's not finished yet, but it's really good. Anyway, Autumn Stroll's nice. It's like, let me look up what Autumn Stroll is. And it, like I said, it lasted days and days and days. If this is in my club, this is from Bring Back My Bar. Amble under a bright harvest moon, leaving crunching leaves crunching underfoot as peppery cinnamon mingles with dusky plum and warm incense. Totally. It's warm, it's comforting, it's relaxing. I really like it. Total great fall vibes. Then <gasps> This was so oily. This bar was so oily, you guys. Blackberry spice. I was like, I need to pop this in my bedroom warmers. Wow, did I have an aha moment. And I'm so glad this is still, this is available in the fall-winter catalog. This is great. This is truly a spiced blackberry. Like, a warm, rich, deep, fruity blackberry with lots of comforting spice. It is so good. It is so complex. It is beautiful and there was something about cool nights in my bedroom watching tv melting this that was such a vibe what was not a vibe quiet clementine i still have two more bars of this i picked this up in a flash sale this is from the huga wax collection i was not expecting this to be like this is it's like a powdered clementine like, if you went to the baby aisle at, like, Target, and they had, like, orange-scented baby powder. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I maybe was expecting a little bit more citrus, but I was not expecting this heavy, like, talcum powder note that I get from this. So, this is not a winner, needless to say. Um, it was strong. Didn't last a ton, though, which is fine by me, but I would not repurchase that. I did not care for Quiet Clementine. And this, we had, like, a random hot day, and I was like, what am I going to melt? I still want bakery. Red, white, and berry pie. Listen. I think I like maraschino sugar cookie a little more. These are both in my club. But this is nice. This is that cherry blueberry pie. And I will say, the longer these bars sit... And when you warm them, I do get the pie crust note. Not a ton, but I do get the pie crust note, and I think it's pleasant. So I really enjoyed this. It lasted a couple days in my living room, and it was pleasant. So I enjoy red, white, and berry pie. And that was it. So <laughs> 30 minutes pretty average for a video from me anymore. But thank you guys so much for watching. What are you getting through? I know it's fall, but... We're actually going to be in the 80s this week, which stinks, but I'm still burning fall and Halloween. I'm not going back into summer mode. I don't want to. And yeah, let me know what you guys are enjoying. And if you guys placed orders with me, did you guys get your fall goodies in the mail? I saw a couple of you ordered from the Christmas collection. I did place my order, but Sensi did make it very aware that it will take longer than 10 business days to ship out these orders. They're just a little behind in shipping, and they're trying to hire some more people to help out. So I'm not in any rush. I'm still loving my Halloween decor. As long as the Christmas comes before November 1st, which is when I start decorating for Christmas, I'll be fine. So thank you guys again. I thank you a lot for watching, but... Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. That way you stay up to date every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and stay kind. Love you. Bye, guys.